Hey everybody, it's Matt again from Union Horror Movies and welcome to part two of my DVD Blu-ray haul. And again, this is for the month of June. Uh, did the DVDs, now let's get on with the Blu-rays. <clears throat> Alright, for the blues. Uh, picked up The Alien Factor. Yes, George Stover's film. Uh, this is limited to a thousand. And uh, wow. This movie was crazy. This was a lot of fun. Uh, pretty much <clears throat> an alien spaceship crash lands on Earth. This astronomy class notices it and they decide to go uh, check it out. Come to find out this alien spacecraft that landed was a was carrying other aliens and they got loose. So they're all wrecking havoc in this little small town. The artwork is fantastic. And it's redone. Now I have Alien Factor 2 on DVD, so having the first one finishes up. So yay. I <clears throat> uh, did pick up a uh, low independent film called Fun Time. This one takes place like in a circus or a fun house. And it's kind of got that weird uh, Rob Zombie-esque aspect to it. Again, it's low budget. The camera sh work is a little shoddy, but... This was their first time making a horror film, the group, and they did a good job. I liked it. Definitely check out, uh, whoops, definitely check out Fun Time, guys. Uh, next, I did pick this up because it was cheap at Best Buy. Don't know anything about it, and that's Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. I don't anybody hear anybody talk about this movie. I don't know why. Uh, I still have to watch this one. So if you've seen this movie, let me know. Did pick up <clears throat> Riccio, the story of Ricky. The movie was insane. I guess it's based on a uh, Japanese uh, comic, manga, or whatever. Gory, fun shit. Definitely gonna, this was a fun watch. I did pick up The Sorceress from Jim Wynorski. I still gotta give this one a watch, but it looks pretty sleazy. A lot of fun. I love the black case, how this came in. So, yep. I've heard some mixed reviews on it. Whoops. Let's see here. I also picked up, uh, everyone knows I love my kaiju type films. So I need another one to add to the collection. And that is called Death Kappa. Wow, this movie is just freaking weird. But it was fun. Really weird. Giant uh, sea goblin, I think it is. Which is a mythological creature. And this, uh, oh no, it's a water goblin. The water goblin is there to protect the town. It's like a half turtle with a metal plate on its head. Weird, weird ass shit going on. Check it out from Tokyo Shock right there. Whew. <clears throat> uh, next I picked up, since Arrow's releasing uh, The Hills Have Eyes on Blu-ray, I already have the remakes on Blu-ray. I am also grab part two on Blu-ray. So, I know this is a, a pretty bad sequel, but to have it in the collection, I got it very cheap in an FYE. So, I was very happy to pick that up. <clears throat> uh, next, I picked up was Something Awaits in the Dark. Now, another title of this is uh, Screamers, put out by Scorpion. It also goes by Island of the, of the uh, Fishmen, I think it is. I've been trying to get this movie for a while. I already... Um, Switch the cover art, but it's also called Screamers, so it's the same same movie. I just like this artwork more. Looks pretty badass. I haven't seen it yet. I just got it in yesterday, so I was very happy to have it in the collection. I got it pretty cheap because the price on it keeps going up. So if I were you, if you haven't picked it up, grab it soon because I think it's going to go out of print. Uh, my first Twilight Times film I picked up because they're having a sale, and it's Mind Warp. I had this on bootleg, so I got rid of the bootleg. This has Bruce Campbell in it and Angus Grimm in it. It's a weird, like, post-apocalyptic film where Angus is head of a cannibalistic society. Really weird film, but a lot of fun. A lot of good blood to it. Uh, good 80s fun. So check out Mind Warp. <laughs> Best Buy had this for... 10 bucks. I said, what the hell, why not? My wife's like, we should get it, because I want to see it. That is Dead 7. If anybody's seen this movie, let me know. I guess it's a uh, 
Western zombie, maybe, but it doesn't look like a zombie in the back, uh, Western itself. So who knows what this is? And it's got Backstreet Boys in sync, 90 degrees in O Town. I don't know. As long as they don't sing, I'm happy. <clears throat> All right. Next up, I got I did a trade with uh, Movie Guy six 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 Zach. I sent him some Godzilla films, and he sent me the hundredth anniversary of Jaws. So I was very happy on that. Thank you very much, Zach. I upgraded my DVD because I think I had the thirty fifth anniversary edition. So the hundredth is awesome. Now I need to grab the the other three. I went to four WalMarts, and none of them had the any of the Jaws Blu-rays. Like what the fuck? I might have to get online. But also, Zach, I don't know if you're watching this, but I can't believe you didn't like this, so come on. The Funhouse Massacre, this movie was fucking fantastic. It's got some good, great gore to it, great kills, high body count. It's got some goofiness where it can be serious, but it also can't be serious at the same time. Like, the one sh deputy sheriff was annoying, but then he got good, and then he got annoying again. It's weird. But it was a lot of fun. Like you could take this more as a, a comedy horror or horror comedy, whatever you want to take it as. But a lot of fun, guys. I did a review on it. Check it out. <clears throat> Zach, check it out again. That was a fun watch. Uh, some more Blu-rays I got from Legless Corpse. <clears throat> I finally got my order in. I ordered. I pre-ordered these in April, and I got them yesterday. But uh, the first one was Underground Entertainment. This is like a horror documentary on a, uh, on the, I guess it was a TV show called Horror Entertainment or I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's re interviews with cast and crew members and uh, make a little conventions and interview certain people on it. It looks fun because it's got uh, Robert England in it, William Forsythe. Danielle Harris, Ernie Hudson, Tom Savini, Tony Todd, Lloyd Kaufman, uh, and many more other, Billy Drago. So yeah, there's a ton of people talking in this, so I have to give this one a watch. And the other one that held up the order was, uh, I wanted to watch, and that's a Girl Number 3. This is an uh, independent film, looks pretty cool, about a group of people kidnapping women. Well, one of them decides to fight back. It's more like a revenge type film. Now, the cover art's different. I don't understand why that. If you go on the website, it's it, she's like in a maid outfit with an, a bloody axe. But this looks pretty cool. So, guys, check out. If you've seen it, let me know. Now, I already ordered from them before. This is the order I, I've had. Uh, I picked up A Wish for the Dead. Uh, the the director, he does artwork for Scream Factory, and he did this film. So it's pretty much about someone who is dying, and the guy makes this wish that there is no death. So, of course, people come back from the grave. There's zombies. Uh, wasn't a bad film. If you've never seen it, check it out, guys. A Wish for the Dead. And I picked up uh, Don't Look Into the Basement 2 from them. <clears throat> I guess the uh, son... Took off after his father by doing the second version. Now, the Blu-ray has both Don't Look to, Into the Basement and Don't Look Into the Basement Part 2 on there. So you get both films, which is pretty cool. A little combo pack. And uh, I guess it takes place right after the first one. I still got to watch them, but for a film that's been over and over again, Public Domain... I guess this is the best you can get, I think. But still, pretty badass to have. And my two more Blu-rays. <clears throat> five got wrong turn four. I own one, one through three. And then five and six on separate Blu-rays. I just never own part four. So now I have all the wrong turn movies. Why not? And I also picked up uh, Chiller Rama. <clears throat> uh, pretty cool little horror anthology. I love Wadzilla. That's the... Giant sperm monster in it. That was pretty funny and weird. The uh, black and white of Diary of Anne Frankenstein was really weird. The I was a teenage uh, 
Werebear. Hmm. And the zombie one was pretty cool, too. But Chillerama, pretty cool. And last but not least, for the Blu-rays, I picked up my only steel book that I have. <clears throat> Best Buy had it. The same price as the Blu-ray. Plus, I did not like the way the slipcover looked for the movie. It, it was like only a half a slipcover. So it's kind of stupid. But I did like the way the, uh, the steel book looked. And that is uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Really like this movie. This movie was spot on. I liked how John Goodman plays the crazy uh, doomsday prepper. And uh, the story is really good. Even when we get to the end part. I know a couple of people didn't like the end. I like the end a lot. And uh, I like the way the steel book looks. It's pretty cool. So yep, my only steel book. <clears throat> Alright guys. That's it for my Blu-ray haul. Here. Uh, please let me know what your comments down below, what you thought. And uh, you guys have yourself a good weekend. And stay safe. Have a good night, guys. Peace.